Hello everybody, I'd like to show you today how to get yourself set up with a Space Engineers server. Currently I'm using Ping Perfect, they seem to be the fastest, I'm being pretty satisfied with uh, how they work lately. So you'll need to make an account and choose which game you want to create the server on. Obviously you can do Space Engineers, but they do many other options on this uh, website. Space Engineers you can see how much it costs per person, each uh, per slot in the server um, and it does seem to be pretty cheap here. Uh, once you've actually chosen and paid for and got your uh, details, they'll get you up into your account area and you can choose your game in the product services. So we're going to go for Space Engineers at the moment that I'm running. Here we can log into the control panel and this gives you to the dashboard. So uh, from the dashboard, there's a few things you'll need to do to get started. First thing you want to do is get on the Steam update, just to make sure your Space Engineer server is running the latest version. Once you've run through the Steam update, that'll take a little while to run through because you have to download all the files from Steam. Once you've finished with that, we have two options for what I understand of um, how to create a game and get one running. Now the server seems to give you the option for the configuration files. So you go into configuration files, the bottom here, dedicated uh, configuration editor. And this gives you a big list of all the options you want to choose and how you want to run your game. Um, I'm not going to go through them all because they're not that exciting to tell you about. But the main things to look into are, um, so we've got Persistent World here. If this box is unticked, every time you start a new server, um, there'll be a new map or a new area loaded in. So uh, anything you play on, if the server restarts, you'll lose everything, so we don't want to do that. But if you haven't actually started a game yet, you won't have any options to uh, load in a saved game. So first thing you want to do is start a game, and then the second time you need to come back into configuration file, go to Persistent World, and make sure this is ticked and make sure you choose the game, it'll probably come up as a number. Um, at the moment I've named mine, this is a server I'm running at the moment. Um, from here then you need to, once you've uh, got your first setup set up, then you can choose all your options. Uh, obviously if you don't want Cyberhounds because they're a pain in the arse and spiders, jetpacks turned off, although it's pretty difficult to live without jetpacks in Space Engineers. <laughs> Um, then you need to save it and go back to your Space Engineers main dashboard area. From here you can just click on Start. I'll stop this so you see what it'll look like without. So you'll just have the Start button. You can click on Start and uh, it'll fire up your Space Engineers. Now it'll create a new bunch of files in your File Manager under Saves. This is how you can see what it's called and how you can rename it here. I've got the folder um, the, of the server that I'm running at the moment. This is an old test server um, I was running earlier. So if you also want to, the other option for making a server, um, not going through the configuration files that we just went through, but by actually creating the game in Space Engineers, I'll, I'll show you actually. So within Space Engineers you can go to New World, uh, Custom World, Easy Earth Start, we'll call it Easy Earth Start X, just so we can remember it. Um, creative or Survival, you have whatever you want on your server. Make sure you're on what you want the server to be on, so if you want people to come join you, public, and your max players. I know on Ping Perfect, um, if you put it above the max players and the ones you choose, uh, they will actually close the server down, um, so make sure you keep the max players onto however much you paid for. Uh, also, adding mods, you can actually add the mods through the in-game area here, so if you want to add anything to it, letters mods and big gate mods, anything, you can actually just um, add them in here, press OK, and when you start your server, those mods will be running on the server as well, so it's quite a nice, easy way of adding the mods instead of having to find all the, uh, the codes that you need for them to add onto the configuration file editor. Uh, once you've got the game that you want set up, press OK. After you've done this, you'll need to save the world. 
and once the world is saved um, it should be saved into an area yeah so we've got uh, your windows see your uh, windows users your name app data roaming space engineers and then saves under the long file name and the game will be saved under here uh, I don't remember what we call that thing now easy start or earth start x I think it was but it will be in this uh, in this file location here um, what? so then back onto your dashboard you can go into file manager this is your server dashboard go into saves um, and here you can make a new folder I'll call it Earth X just because that's close to what we had it called in the game. Uh, open Earth X and then here we upload. What we need to find here are so we go uh, so you know again. It's your C drive, uh, your area on your computer game and your uh, on your computer, and then uh, updater roaming space engineers saves big long file number um, and down here it would be in e earth x is the game that we just started so we open that one up and you can see these are all the files that are inside that need to run the server um, these ones the vx2 are the voxel files so these are the actual planets in game obviously moon mars you can see what they're called um, and you also need the sandbox um, notepad file is very important and the sandbox SBS file these two files are the important ones to actually get the actual ships and the blocks that you've placed in the game so uh, I'll just add the earth for now so once we actually load up the server then it'll only have the earth planet in there and not the others uh, the sandbox file and the sandbox SBS file as well um, and upload all of these. Once these are uploaded onto your server, you'll be able to go back to configuration files. So, so you can see the files are on the EarthX and these are in here. So then we go back to dashboard, go back to configuration files, configuration editor. And down here we have the what we were talking about earlier, the persistent world. Um, we have it ticked and we'll be able to find Earth X there. That's the file that we just created in the Space Engineers game. We save that. Go back to our Space Engineers dashboard area. Um, and let's just stop and restart the server. And so this time when we start the server, it will load up the Earth X files that we just imported and it will run the actual server. We can also actually see the game style if we go on log viewer, space engineers dedicated log, stream file. Should be able to see it starting up. This sometimes takes a while if it works. There we go. So you can see it's doing a few things and it's loading up all the. Uh, the necessary files to run the server. So once this finishes, it'll say, I can't remember exactly, something along the lines of ended um, game running. Once it comes up with that line at the bottom, uh, you can actually go into Space Engineers, the game, oh there we go, it's come up now. Game ready, press CTRLC to exit. We don't want to press CTRLC, we're just happy that it says game ready. So then we open Space Engineers, uh, Join World, which is the internet games, and mine will be under favourites at the moment because I've been on the server before but you'll be able to actually find it um, Earth X although I know it takes a while to sometimes find these servers on uh, Space Engineers There we go, it's some of my favourites already. That was a quick way to do it. 
Uh, and then I can obviously double click and load into the game and play to my heart's content. Uh, join your friends in there, they will come in with you um, and you know it will it will continuously run. The uh, one more thing I just want to mention about running these servers which might be quite helpful for you is you can uh, go back to dashboards there we go, we've got the, the game running uh, let's get rid of that again so back onto the dashboard and under scheduled tasks here you can actually have regular restarts and uh, steam updates as well it's quite handy to set these, I think I've set them to Friday, early Friday mornings because Space Engineers tends to bring out the steam updates uh, every Thursday or at least they did, I think now that they've got a stable branch it's only once a month every Thursday um, but you know you can uh, make a new schedule restart, steam update or make a command in your game if you want special things to happen in the game um, and designate how often that sort of thing happens it's yeah really nice and finally uh, for those of you who are going to get quite into depth with this you can actually add the uh, Space Engineers uh, server editor SESE uh, or whatever it's called now, uh, by going onto the actions, uh, the reinstall, um, uh, configuration editor, and here you can see server extender, not editor. Um, so these give you a few more options on the server if you want to add or change a few more things, but it is a little bit more advanced and you need to know a little bit of programming language to really get the hang of this. Uh, and bearing in mind, if you do click on the reinstall, you lose anything, any of your files that are in there. Um, speaking of that, finally, I'll just mention that your saves, if you've actually been running a game on the server for a while and you've been having good fun and you don't want to lose the game, you can go into your saves and you can actually download all of these files and add them to your saved file area in your computer and actually play it on single player again as well. So you can swap and change, put things back onto your um, home computer and mess around some things and then re-upload it to the server if you if you really want to do that. It also helps to change mods and do things. Um, and I think that's about it. Oh no, one more just little hint of things I've learnt is on your save files on your uh, sandbox SBC you'll notice a little pen mark here for edit. You can open it up and it actually has uh, all of the information for changing the config files in the game also. So you can uh, enable sun rotation here, true, so you can type in false and save this and the sun will no longer move in game. And I think all of these things you can change, these are all the general settings that you have in the game. Uh, you can quite easily change here. I think this is also a way you can change from um, creative to survival in the game. I'm not going to look for it now because it'll take me forever, but you can find the, the part where it says survival or creative. Oh, there you go. Found it. Survival. So if you type in creative there and save, it'll change the whole server to a creative mode or a survival mode. And It's just nice to have a little bit of somewhere that can quickly change settings. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, I hope that it's been helpful and I hope you enjoy running on your server. If you do want to join my server, then uh, please feel free. I'll leave the comments in the box below.